Hello, welcome back, Regal Smith here. And today I'm gonna to teach you how to use birch essential oil from doTERRA, why you would wanna use it, the benefits, and how doTERRA became the first company to commercially produce 100% pure birch essential oil. The sourcing story is just short of miraculous. So birch essential oil is known to be very soothing to the muscles. It is a supportive essential oil, and I'll talk about specifics about how you can use it to support the emotional and the physical body. But first, let's talk a little bit about the aroma. It smells similar to, I'd say wintergreen, a little bit of that menthol smell. It is a little bit of a hint of a tree. Obviously it's birch, but to me it almost smells like when you snap an aspen twig. I guess the same would be if you snapped a birch twig. I don't really snap those much, but we have a lot of aspen here in Colorado. It is something that would smell like I would wanna use it as a muscle rub, um, maybe in a warm bath after I have had a rough workout or I have achy muscles. It would smell really great in a DIY bath salt with Epsom salts. So birch essential oil, was originally given to us from doTERRA as a gift with our convention kits years and years ago and people would treasure these little bottles because of the benefits they felt when they used it and years ago doTERRA outgrew their ability to source it sustainably because they won't source it they can't do it sustainably and source a hundred percent pure quality essential oil so in this pursuit of figuring out how to be able to do that on a large mass scale to support all the doTERRA customers they tested 27 different brands of birch essential oil. They basically got their hands on whatever they could, all the birch oil out there, all the 100% pure birch oils. And what they discovered through their testing is zero bottles contain any birch. So even though it was advertised as birch, what they were finding instead of birch was either wintergreen oil, which is very uh, inexpensive and much easier to produce than birch oil. They also found worse than that were synthetics that your body, when your body is processing a synthetic, it might smell good, but your body processes it and oftentimes will have an immune response because it's a foreign object that's not something that's going to give your body a, ther a therapeutic benefit. They also found in there aspirin, expired aspirins that were made to create birch oil, which is kind of interesting. They found fossil fuels and other things in these bottles. And this isn't always the, the fault of the company that's selling these. So almost all essential oil companies, doTERRA doesn't do this, but most of them purchase essential oils through a wholesaler, a distributor that basically sources the oils and then sells it to companies to market and sell the oils. doTERRA sources direct from the grower, so there's no middleman. So what happens when these other companies buy from the wholesalers is sometimes, oftentimes, they are sold something that they think is pure, but it is not. It's somewhere along the chain is adulterated. It either, is either made synthetic throughout the chain to make it go further at the source, somewhere in the middle. And it's not often the problem of the company. They don't even know what is in those bottles. But you know when you're buying an oil from doTERRA, they absolutely know what's in it. And they only sell 100% pure oils. They source the best while helping the most. So how to use birch essential oil? is multiple ways. I like to layer it with deep blue. So deep blue is for muscle tension, it's for discomfort relief. This is one that helps the deep blue penetrate even deeper. Now you can use it on your own or you can combine it with deep blue or even Copaiba essential oil to help support healthy inflammatory levels in those tissues and relieve some of that occasional discomfort. You could add it to a warm bath with Epsom salts like I mentioned. You can also use it uh, for an energizing effect. Just put a drop in your hand, take a nice deep breath in, and it has a really nice energizing effect. You can add it to coconut oil for a tissue massage, massage up on the tension or the temples if you're feeling tension behind the neck and things like that. So a friend of mine who is an acupuncturist, she works specifically with people who have uh, PTSD. They're mostly veterans. And she does a protocol that works really well with them with acupuncture, deep blue, and after birch came out, she also started to apply birch. Birch, like I mentioned, helps to penetrate even deeper into the tissues. And she had several of her clients, the week she started using it, ask what she did differently during that treatment. They could feel the difference when they rolled over. They could feel that intensity and they felt even more relief. Now, an interesting thing about birch, not only does it help to soothe the physical body, but emotionally, it's the oil of support. So people who are feeling like they need a little bit emotional support, perhaps those veterans or people with PTSD or just any of us on a daily basis who might want a little extra support, it can help emotionally with that. 
So you can diffuse it alone. You could add it with a peppermint or a, I like things with wild orange, just kind of give it some different aromas or even more earthy tree oils like frankincense would be lovely and use it in that way. Now, another unique use for birch, a friend of mine, her son was playing football and he collided with another child and they each ended up with a concussion. So they did the right thing. They went to get emergency care. They talked to their daughters, doctors and got protocols for what they should do for a concussion. They both followed the protocols, uh, but my friend also incorporated the essential oils. So she used frankincense on the back of his neck, which is great for brain health overall and also healthy inflammatory levels and birch, which has a aspirin effect, which is why it has that childproof cap on the top, because it helps to have that same effect on the body. And that was something that the doctor had recommended. So she was able to use this on the back of his neck, right below the skull, and he recovered faster. He had less swelling, less discomfort than his friend who also followed the concussion protocol, but without the oil. So it's another thing that you can incorporate in your wellness routine if you ever had an incident like that but do follow doctor's advice, right? We love our docs. Now, I will have more recipes for you written up about birch listed below on my blog. You can find different DIY recipes. You can le read a little bit more about the sourcing behind it. The sourcing, they ended up finding one of the few distillers that still knows how to do it. I think his name was Stip Skip Cavanaugh. We saw a fun video about him at convention and how he worked with doTERRA to teach them the art of distilling dilling this pure oil, and if you do it incorrectly, either it won't be potent, so we want it to be potent, or it will have just this awful rancid smell. So it's a very tricky and expensive oil to distill. One fun fact is you actually have to stir it continuously for 300 hours after distilling it to make sure it properly distills and becomes that beautiful, potent, and sweet-smelling essential oil. So if you have any other uses for birch that you want to drop below, let me know how you're using it. If you have questions about birch, drop it in the comments. And then of course, if you need your doTERRA oils at wholesale pricing, which is 25% below retail, you can also do that on my website linked below at blissmama.com. Thank you for watching and we'll see you next time. Bye.